Hello everyone, it's time for a new journal and this is a Midori notebook that I had chopped at the FedEx store uh, thanks to the suggestion of a few people here on this channel. So I'm, I'm excited to have a more formal journal. I've been enjoying the inserts, I've been enjoying this size so much, but admittedly I do get a little restless in a space after a while after I feel like I have explored it fully <laughs> and so it just felt like time to switch it up but I didn't want to switch up the size so chop chop it was to this journal I've had around for quite some time and honestly I really like this paper and it's nice to revisit it uh, it's it just it's such a beautiful it has a great texture and I like the very subtle blue grid on the paper. It's just, it's really nice. And it feels great with my Caveco Brass Sport. So anyways, I decided to do a little quick decorating. And I think because I was doing it as quickly as I possibly could, because I don't have a lot of time right now, um, I made a little boo-boo, but in the end, it all worked out really well. So this is just a picture from an old Arizona Highways magazine, which is ugh, such a great collage resource. Um, and this is where the mistake happened. Maybe you've already caught it. <laughs> I don't know. But basically that image is upside down. So I like to glue on the paper and then trim off the edges. It's hard to kind of picture the framing of the image, but it's it's nice because I have cut images too short and that's always a bummer. So I rather cut them too big, trim them down to size. And now I'm typing up a volume label. This is volume 1.2 and I have this brown sticky paper. And so once I've typed that up, I will just put it on the new cover. Oh, of course I have to cut it out first. <laughs> I like to kind of get a sense of where I'd like to put it before sticking it on, and this is always a fiddly part, getting that backing off. So I thought at the end of this video I would do a little currently inked bit, um, Clip, as I haven't done one in a long time. Also, I decided that it's time to clean this out because this is also my wallet and it was starting to feel a little crazy. So take out the receipts and the change. And that's when I discovered, ugh, it was upside down. <laughs> so, so I tried to peel it off as best I could, but this glue is really good glue and it really stuck on there. So I ended up using the other part of that original cover and that worked out really nice because now it's like this whole cohesive front and back so in the end i'm really glad that mistake happened because i like it so much more now and i think that's gonna work i like the way this feels i like the thickness i'm excited to be using this paper again so here currently inked i haven't been rotating through pens very much lately just because I have a pen and then that's the one I want to use and I use it for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, I have, I feel less exploratory and I think someone pointed out on a recent video of mine actually that initially in the beginning we were very experimental and adventurous and we tried to experience all the different inks and all the different pens and all the different papers but ultimately a lot of us are really working towards one goal and that is to create like the perfect kit the perfect pen and the perfect ink and the perfect paper that we really enjoy working with and so once we have kind of fine-tuned that we don't explore and experiment as much I I can really relate to that I don't 
really have much interest in experimenting with different inks and pens, to be honest. I'm just really enjoying the ones that I have and using the inks that I do, which tend to now be like brown, black, and blue, pretty darn standard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so right there I was just comparing those two inks because they're really similar. The Tatia ink is more watery and shades a little bit more, whereas the Diamine Ancient Copper sheens more and is just a little bit more pigmented. So anyways, that was it. Thank you all for watching.